this, uh, with having worked for White Mackay for 40 years, this is one of the most exciting projects uh, I've ever worked with. And it will be of historical benefit, not just to revere Sir Ernest Shackleton's name, but it will also hopefully show that once again that Scotch whisky is the number one spirit of the world. Well, obviously this goes back to uh, 2007 February when we were told about uh, the find. We were told there was some whisky, but we didn't know what it was. And it wasn't until 2010, believe it or not, that they unearthed three cases. And we were told, obviously, it was confirmed as being McKinley's. But we didn't know if the whisky was in a stable condition. We didn't even know if there was any whiskies left in the bottles. So that's what's taken all this length of time. But finally, we were told, yes, the whisky's there. They could hear it sloshing around in the case. And they bought one case to the Antarctic Heritage Trust, where they looked at the bottles and uh, they awaited uh, permission for us to remove three bottles. And that's what we did over the last four days. So we flew out to New Zealand. We are allowed to have three bottles, which we've now got. This is one of them here. As you can see, it's been in the ice for over 100 years. It's very delicate. The paper, everything about it is extremely delicate. And we're going to extract the whiskey uh, with a syringe. Uh, we have to make sure that there is no damage whatsoever to the label and the capsule. So that's going to be quite difficult, especially in its very sensitive, delicate state. And we're going to have a look at it and we're going to research and for the Scotch whisky industry to see what kind of whisky, what kind of style, what were the distilling practices are way back in the 19th century. Because you've got to remember, this is a whisky that's been in a fridge for over 100 years. It's been ha held in tandem and this is a great uh, research ahead of us and we want to see what, of, what, what kind of whisky is really what it's all about. It could be a single malt, it could be a blended malt, it could even be a blended whisky, but the research, the analysis will have to give us these results. Is it a light style? Is it a heavy style? Is it a smoky style? These are questions, again, that will need to be answered over the next few weeks. Well, what happens now is that uh, tomorrow morning, after hopefully catching up with a bit of sleep, uh, we're going to put them back into these containers and we're going to take them uh, up north and we're going to put them into a sealed unit and we're going to slowly but surely extract the whiskey um, and then the analysis will begin. What's the strength? What's the age? What's the impact on the distillation? What kind of uh, maturation went on? All these kind of exciting uh, uh, questions that will have to be answered over the next few weeks. Well, we've, uh, I've had the privilege and honour of uh, sampling quite a number of uh, uh, blends and single malts from the, the 19th century. And in the main, generally, these whiskies were very heavy. They were peaty style whiskies. And uh, I'm just wondering if this is the same. Uh, again, we won't know until we extract the whisky. It, it was a very... Uh, poignant moment. It was quite emotional, I have to be honest, uh, because having worked with this for the last four years to finally hold it and to be part of that uh, great project is something that I'll never forget as far as I'm concerned as long as I, I live. I'm delighted to say that uh, our chairman, uh, Dr. Vijay Malia, actually offered his private jet for this because this box that uh, where the uh, bottle sat in had to be with me the whole time uh, in a cabin and it had to be there with me and he very kindly orchestrated that. He had no hesitation, he was a great supporter of the Antarctic Heritage Trust as well and he brought it onto his plane from Christchurch. We literally flew in that day and we flew out that day uh, with these bottles and it's, they're safely here thanks to him. The history in this room is just stunningly remarkable. I mean, these, are, these are the treasures of White and Mackay.